Hello and welcome to the tutorial on ordering numbers. In this tutorial we will learn how to order numbers up to 1 million. So let's have a look at the question we're going to be working through. There we go. On the left hand side we've got A, B, C, D. Four sets of numbers. On the right hand side we've got the boxes where we have to order them from the smallest to the largest. Smallest at the top, largest at the bottom. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, the first things first, let's check how many digits there are. In total, there are six digits. So there are six digits in total. If one number had, for example, five digits, that would immediately become the smallest number, if all the others were six digits. But we've checked, all of them have six digits. So what we're going to do is, we're going to start on the left-hand side. And we're going to compare the hundred thousands. Let's just label it, hundred thousands. And over here, let's just put a nice circle around it. Or should I say, let's circle it. What do we notice? All of them are seven. So the hundred thousands do not tell us which one is larger, or which one is smaller. Okay. Let's move across to the ten thousands. And we've circled that. And what do we notice? All of them are four. If all of them are four, that means the ten thousands does not help to tell us which number is larger and which one is smaller. Let's keep going. We're now down to the ten thousands. Oops, I'm just going to erase that. That got a bit wobbly. And we're going to draw it down here. Okay, so those are the thousands. We've got three, four, three, four. So two sets of numbers are 3 and two sets are 4. What that tells us is the two smaller numbers, 3 and, well, both of them are 3, it's A and C, I'll just point them out, it's this one here and this one here, both of these are going to go into the two smallest numbers because 3 is smaller than 4. But we do not know whether A or C is going to become the smallest. What we have to do is take this one step further. We're going to look at the hundreds. But we'll do this individually. We're going to start with A, the, th the two numbers which have got 3. So let's just put a circle around it. And the 3 over here, which is C, we're going to put a circle around it. So we are comparing the 5 and the 4 now. The hundreds, the 5 and the 4. Which one is smaller? Well, that's simple. It is 4. This one here is a smaller number. So this immediately becomes our smallest number, that is C. So let's write this down. The other number, which is this one here, the 5, that becomes our next smallest number. So we can put a 2 here. That one was A. Now did you see how we worked that out? Good. We'll move on to the two numbers that are remaining. We'll just change colors for this. And we'll have these in red. So go back to the 10,000s. We've got a 4 here and a 4 here. Now those do not tell us which is the largest number and which is the third largest number. So what we have to do is, we have to look at the hundreds. So let's take this across, circle it, and we'll do the same for this one here. So we are now comparing the 6 with the 5. 600 with 500. Which number is smaller? 
Well, the smaller number is naturally the 5. So this becomes number 3. That is D. So we can put that in. And lastly, we've got this one here, 4. And that is how we order the numbers up to 1 million. Start on the left-hand side and work gradually across. Have a practice with a few numbers.